Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is also the first time that I'm showing my face and talking in a video. Usually I don't show my face, so subscribe to <laughs> see more of my face. I'm talking weirdly and my gums are swollen because I just removed like two of my wisdom teeth so it hurts a lot to talk and smile but I'm trying my best. This is a great start to the first video where I talk. <laughs> so today is the 11th of August and it's results day uh, for international A-levels. My college is making all of us go to the college to receive our results which is not ideal given Corona, and I'd rather be a nervous wreck and panic in the comfort of my own room uh, rather than in public. But anyways, it's okay. I can I can see my friends for the first time in months. I don't know what I'm feeling. Kind of nervous, sort of excited. I don't know. I'm just hoping for the best right now. I took four subjects: biology, mathematics, economics, and physics. I scored three stars and one A for AS. And I was aiming for four A stars. I am most worried about mathematics and biology. Biology because it was it is it is my weakest subject. It scored the lowest amongst the four. I'm worried for mathematics because for mock exams, my teacher thought it'd be really fun to set the paper extremely difficult. Um, even my friend who is extremely talented in maths found the paper very difficult. We all didn't score as well as we hoped we would, and I'm really worried that that is going to affect my final results. Hopefully not. I hope that my teachers understand that prior to the mock exam, we had already been having online classes for like two months, one, two months, and the online classes were not effective at all. I just hope that all the effort that I've been putting in for the past year and a half is going to pay off. If you're watching this and you're taking A-levels too, I am assuming that your results already came out. So congratulations if you did as well as you hoped you did and um, it's okay if your results were not what you expected because given this uncertainty of everything that's going on with the world right now um, universities hopefully they will and I think they will they will be a little bit more lenient when it comes to acceptance I'm in my room right now I'm gonna go downstairs to eat lunch and I will see you in a few he hasn't seen the results. What? I haven't seen it. Okay. Are you okay now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't see him. They want to see one, right? I don't see, huh? Don't see, huh? Don't see, don't see, don't see, don't see, don't see. Oh, the hair also must come down. Huh? One, two, yeah. three. Okay, don't look at it. Don't look at no, it. No, no, it's up to you. What is it? It's up to you. What is it? I can't see. Why ah, oh, you can't see? Where are your glasses? No, I wear contacts. Are you okay? <laughs> Hi everyone, I just reached home. The clip that you just saw is of me in college receiving my results. So I scored two A stars and two A's in A levels. And um, to be very honest, I am actually very disappointed. I just wanted to be very honest. I, I wish I could sit here and say that I'm so happy with my results, all my effort paid off, and everything went swimmingly well, but it's just not the case, and I didn't want to lie, because at the end of the day, I started YouTube as sort of a, a diary, and I don't want to put a, a lie out there, a lie to myself and to the few people that watch my videos. So I scored two A stars for physics and economics. I scored an A for mathematics and biology. So for biology, I understand why. Because for AS, my biology scored an A. So I was quite skeptical, skeptical that my A2 will score an A star. So that I'm fine. But what I'm disappointed in is with my mathematics. I never would have thought that my mathematics would score an A. I never, I was never worried about mathematics. Even when my lecturers asked me just now, like, oh, why did you score? I said, oh, I scored two A, two A stars and two A. They're like, okay, do you score an A star for physics and mathematics? I said, no, I scored an A for mathematics and I scored A star for economics. Economics. And you're like, your, your maths score an A? Then I was like, yeah. Even my maths lecturer was surprised because uh, for my mock exams, I, I, pretty sure I scored one of the highest. I, I didn't 
I just, I don't know what went wrong, honestly. I just really don't know. I'm not saying that 2A stars and 2As are not good. Like, it's very, very good results. It's just that for my AS, I had scored 3A stars and 1A. Um, 3A stars being mathematics, physics, and economics, and A being biology. I was working so hard so so hard to score 4 A stars for my A2. Even though I knew that with this whole coronavirus situation and no real exams taking place, just mock exams, that's creating a lot of uncertainty and inconsistencies when it comes to results. But I was so sure that with the effort that I was putting in, that my lecturers could see and the results that I've been putting out consistently over the last one and a half years, that I would be able to score those 4A stars. I just can't help but feel disappointed. Like I said, I'm not saying that 2A stars and 2As aren't good results, but I'm just disappointed that mathematics was the one to get an A. Like, if economics scored an A, I'll be like, okay, sure, like, fine. You know, but mathematics... I was already disappointed when I checked my results when I first received it in the video. I just didn't want to show it because I didn't want my friends to feel like I was ungrateful with the results that I received. I am really grateful, it's just that it could be better. I feel like I couldn't have done much more in a sense where I couldn't have worked harder. I already worked the hardest that I could. I did my best, I tried my best, I really did. It didn't turn out like what I wanted. Um, my friends did very well and I'm very, very proud of them. My parents are also very proud of me. It's just that I'm just disappointed in myself. I feel like I... I've put too much pressure on myself and that's something that has to change. No one's disappointed in me. My parents are very proud, my friends are very happy about their own results and about mine. It's just that I'm disappointed in myself. Oddly enough, even though it wasn't in my power to change, like to appoint my grades, like I couldn't sit for the exam and score an A plus myself. If you're receiving your results soon or you have already received your results, I hope that you are happy with your results that you are able to go to university and if you're disappointed with your results just know that it is most likely not your fault you know all of us are just so confused and distracted and just overall lost when it comes to studying or our education right now like we don't know what's going on with universities we don't know how um, the grading system is going to work and we don't know how Ofqual is calculating our grades and how our teachers are ranking us and stuff but just know that um, this is just one of the hurdles hurdles that we have to cross good luck to everyone who is receiving their results soon congratulations to everyone if you have already received your results in the next few days i will be releasing a study tip video so stay tuned for that and thank you for being so patient with me and yeah bye bye hello oh yeah i'm at home why My boyfriend sent flowers. Wait. Oh, there's tape.